Hello and welcome to our Cisco Meraki wireless course. In this course, we will talk about Cisco Meraki wireless, what it is, what are the basics, what are the best practices, what kind of encryption methods it supports, and how you can configure RF profiles, how you can configure the firewall on your Cisco Meraki dashboard, on your Cisco Meraki access points. We will all learn everything about Cisco Meraki wireless. And while we are learning all those theory, we will not be just sticking with the theory. We will understand how to configure that on your Cisco Meraki dashboard and how you can configure, modify and change the settings. And we will see what happens when we change the settings and what happens when we select certain modes, what happens when we select some method in a drop down box what kind of options that we get so you will learn all about Cisco Meraki. After this course you will better understand how Cisco Meraki works. If you have it that's perfect. If you are going to have your next job with Cisco Meraki that will be great because Cisco Meraki is just covering all the world and as just Cisco announced it has more than 2 million networks around the globe. So without further ado, let's go and understand what we will learn in the Cisco Meraki wireless course. We will start with our chapter 1. You will understand the Cisco Meraki wireless solutions, what it is, how it is managed from the cloud, and you will understand what are its components, access points, how you can access Cisco Meraki dashboard, how you can use the demo of Cisco Meraki so that you will be able to practice yourself what we will learn all those labs, all those theory and configurations. So we will also understand Meraki Systems Manager. Then we will go over the newest Cisco Meraki access point models. We will not stick with the old ones, but we will understand the new ones Especially we will go over 802.11ax, which is the, the next big thing on wireless medium. So you will also see those 802.11ax access points, which is Wi-Fi 6, the next big thing in the wireless medium. Then we will understand Cisco Meraki Cloud Managed Access Point requirements what those are and we will understand then and learn how we can initialize a Meraki access point. On chapter 2 we will learn Cisco Meraki wireless terms and its best practices. Single user multiple input multiple output, multiple user multiple input multiple output with beamforming will be understood deeply. Then we will understand roaming technologies. Why do we need 802.11 R, E, V, what those are and how it can help us improve our experience for our clients, wireless experience for our clients, we will understand them. Then we will understand how to configure 802.11 W for Management Frame Protection, MFP. Then lastly, we will go over in a lengthy video about client balancing. We will go very deep dive into client balancing and then you will understand how it can be configured very easily thanks to Cisco Meraki dashboard. And on chapter 3, we will start with radio settings. What, are the, what is RF profile? How we can configure it? What are the default templates to create an RF profile? Then we will understand how to create custom profiles in detail. What kind of options do we have? How we can configure it on Meraki dashboard? So we will always go with our Meraki dashboard, we will always go with our hands-on. Because if you don't have the hands-on for your wireless part, the theory will not be enough. We will understand how to assign our profiles to access points. And we will also see for the old radio settings. What is the new one? What is the old one? How we, we can see them? We will see. We will go over the channel planning and we will understand how we can see the channel planning with map view and list view. 
then auto channel and channel configurations will be our main concern. We will see how we can configure those channels for 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. Real-time auto channel and channel change reasons will be also understood deeply. AutoTX and its length process will be went over and then band steering and how to configure it will be taught. Minimum bitrate control MBC, and VLAN tagging will also be parts of Cisco Meraki radio settings. Then start, we will start with chapter 4. This will be about SSID modes, encryption and authentication. This is the good stuff. This will teach you how to configure your SSID modes and why you need to configure them for certain reasons and what kind of options you will have with them. For example, some kind of adult content filtering will not be possible with an SSID mode. Which one it is? You will all learn that. After bridge mode and NAT mode, we will go over layer 3 roaming with or without a concentrator. We will understand how to configure these on your Meraki dashboard, of course. And encryption on authentication methods will be discussed. And we will go over how to configure them on your Meraki dashboard one by one. When you change one setting, you will face with a different option. So you will understand what, op what kind of options you will have with each, with each mode, each encryption or authentication method. And you will also learn why you need to learn them, why you need to see each encryption or authentication method. You will also configure Mac-based access control for your SSID. Why we need to configure it and how we can do it will be our main concern. Chapter 5 will be all about firewall rules, traffic shaping and group policies. I know this can be a different topic for, your, for you wireless guys, but Meraki Access Points and Meraki Dashboard offers you a great solution to, con access co to make the access control for your wireless traffic and what kind of options it has and how you can configure them will be our main concern for this chapter. We will go over firewall rules. What kind of rules you have and what do they look for? Is it only IP? Is it only port? Or what about the applications? We will understand how to configure layer 3 firewall rules. What kind of options do we have? Do we have some sequence numbers? Do we have destination addresses, ports, and on the contrary to layer 7, do we have both deny and allow option or just one? And what kind of traffic are we controlling? Is it outbound? Is it inbound? Let me give you a hint. It's the outbound traffic. But what is the outbound traffic? Is it the wireless client's traffic? Or is it a traffic that is going outside of your network from your access points? What is the difference be between them and how you can control them? Then you will understand how to configure layer 7 firewall rules. What kind of options do we have? Do we have peer-to-peer -peer blocking the peer-to-peer? -peer? Can we just deny applications or do we have to allow any application? Also, what kind of contents that we can block. And we will understand the firewall rules processing order. Will we go to layer 7 firewall rules every time or will, we, will layer 3 will be enough for us? What is the algorithm behind it? What is the processing order actually? We will all learn that. Then uh, we will continue, of course, we will understand how to do all those things on your Meraki dashboard and we will go over some other toppings such as NAC options, how we can configure it on your Meraki dashboard, on your IPs, how we can configure bandwidth sh shaping and what kind of benefits it will give us, what is traffic shaping, how we can benefit from it. You will understand all them, all of them and you will go over wireless client isolation. What is it? What is it actually? What kind of benefit will it give us? 
and then we'll go over configuring group policies where we can configure it and why we are configuring is very important will just configuring the will just configuring the group policies will it be enough no we have to apply those group policies we have to apply those group policies to clients to devices to vlans and we can do them by radius settings so we will go over all of them and we will understand how to configure it via your device settings on your Meraki dashboard this will be our main concern and we will understand each of the options on configuring what group policies so we will go over different examples for it as you can see we will start understanding Meraki wireless solution then we will go over some of the wireless terms and basics best practices and we will understand RF profiles how to do the configurations on the actual channels how to do the auto channeling how we can configure band steering then we will deal with our SSIDs chapter 4 will be all about it how we can change the encryption authentication methods and why we are changing it what kind of benefit we will get by changing between different authentication and encryption methods and lastly we will understand our firewall rules traffic shaping and group policies so as you can see in this Cisco Meraki wireless course we will go over many different aspects of Cisco Meraki and I hope you will benefit from it a lot and I want to see you on the start of chapter 1 which we will dis start discussing about Cisco Meraki wireless solution thank you for watching let's see you on the next video hello and congratulations my fellow wireless warrior you just finished Cisco Meraki wireless course as you just trusted me with this course and you just started learning with me I just want to give you a heads up for my other courses if you want to go with especially Cisco CCNA wireless refund lab course or if you want to go with the new Cisco CCNA wireless 200-355 viewfront the complete course which will be all about the theory and this one will be all about the labs then you can use best deal coupon code with them on Udemy you can find the links on the file in the resources section and you can go there and select to go with me continue learning with me and the other courses these will be these links will be valid till the end of summer so just hurry up check them out if you think they are for you just go and grab them with the best deal coupon code thank you for watching I wish you a great deal of success and luck for your professional and certification goals thank you for watching